Hello, everyone. I'm very glad to introduce our recent work on GCNRO circuit designer. Transferable transistor sizing with block neural networks and reinforced learning. My name is Henry Wang, and I'm a PhD student at MIT. Recently, artificial intelligence is witnessing rapid progresses and shows promising results in the ED area because of its two merits. First, the inference of a model is very fast and can be accelerated by GPUs and accelerators. Secondly, the models are very accurate because they are data-driven. With enough data, the performance of AI models can exceed the traditional methods. It also enables continuous learning to make full use of the newly obtained data. AI models are already used in many EDA problems, including physical design and manufacture, circuit design, and system level modeling and optimization. In GCNRL Circuit Designer, we focus on analog IC design problem because it is highly labor intensive, requiring many schematic design, transistor sizing, and layout design. To make things worse, the porting of analog IC between technology nodes also requires huge manual efforts and large overhead. To this end, we propose GCNRL Circuit Designer, using AI techniques to make analog IC design more efficient. We target at the challenging transistor sizing problem, which has large design space and complex performance trade-offs. We leverage the graph convolutional neural networks to evolve topology information into the design loop, inspired by that circuit topology is a graph. Transfer learning between technology nodes and different topologies are also explored to reduce the design porting overhead. GCN is short for graph convolutional neural networks. In one GCN layer, each node of the graph aggregates the features from neighboring nodes. More the more GCN layers, the larger the receptive field. For example, in layer zero, the red node only has its own features. After GCN layer one, it has information from its neighbors. After GCN layer two, it has information from neighbors on neighbors. In GCNRL framework, we firstly have a target circuit and a simulator as the environment. One optimization iteration contains six steps. In step one, the environment embeds the circuit topology into a graph whose nodes are circuit components and edges are wires. Step two, the environment generates a state vector for each component and sends the graph with state vector to the reinforcement learning agent. Step three, the RL agent processes graph and state vectors and generates the sizes for each node. Step four, the environment refines the sizes to meet the circuit design requirements, such as transistor matching. Step five, the simulator simulates the circuit with the generated sizes. In the last step, the re reward value is calculated and fed to the RL agent to update policy. After many iterations, we get the sizes with high form and also a chained RL agent. Then to perform knowledge transfer, we can inherit the chained RL agent to design circuits in other technology nodes and different topologies. We apply the actor critique algorithm as the RL agent. The actor generates the actions and the critique estimates the reward of the actions and then guides the actor to generate actions with high rewards. For the actor and the critique, we use GCN as models. Here we show the architecture for actor GCN network. The actor, actor takes the graph and states on each node as the inputs. Then in the first JSON layer, we multiply the input features with the same weight matrix for each node and get the hidden features. Then we accumulate the hidden features of a node with its neighbors to generate the aggregated features. This process is performed simultaneously on all nodes. Therefore, we can get all aggregated features. Multiple GCN layers are stacked together. Each has one FC and one aggregation operation. After several GCN layers, 
each node can have a large receptive field. After the last JSON layer, we apply a unique FC for each node and output the sizes for the corresponding circuit component. The critique model is similar to the actor model, but its last layer outputs the estimated form values. Our GCNR framework enables knowledge transfer since the knowledge of how to perform transfer sizing is stored in the ways of the agent. Therefore, we can apply the trained agent directly on other technology nodes or topologies. By contrast, patient optimization and evolutionary research cannot support knowledge transfer because BO has a fixed output space. ES keeps good samples in its population without summarizing the knowledge. We evaluate the performance of GCRL on four circuits, including a two-stage transimpedance amplifier, a two-stage voltage amplifier, a three-stage transimpedance amplifier, and a low dropout regulator. We use the weighted sum of several normalized performance metrics, such as bandwidth, power, and gain as a figure of merits, and compare our performance with multiple baseline algorithms, including human expert design, random search, evolutionary search, Bayesian optimization, MACE, which is multi-objective EO, and NGRO, which is reinforcement learning without GCN layer. The experiment's results show that GCNRL consistently achieves the highest form values with small variance. Here are the learning curves on two-stage voltage amplifier and LDO regulator. GCNRL is in the red curves. We can see that besides high form value, GCNRL also has the fastest convergence speed. Here we show the knowledge transfer between technology nodes on three-stage transimpedance amplifier. The agent is trained on 180 nanometers and then transferred to 130 nanometer and 250 nanometer technology nodes. GCR is in the red curve. We can see that our method can achieve much higher form values after only 200 steps. We also experiment on transfer learning between two-stage and three-stage transimpedance amplifiers. The red curve is transferred with graph information. The blue curve is transferred without graph information. Yellow curve is no transfer. The transfer learning with graph information achieves the highest form, and transfer without graph information is very close to no transfer, showing that graph information is quite critical to transfer learning between topologies. To sum up, GCNRL circuit designer leverages AI techniques in the EDA problem transistor sizing and gets better performance with less human labor. It consistently achieves highest form and enables transfer learning between different technology nodes and topologies. For more information, please visit our website at gcnrl.mit.edu. Thank you very much for listening and welcome to my online Q&A session in the DEC conference.